Hello guys, how are you? Our topic for today is about uh, graphical user interface programming using the BlueJ. So we will install the BlueJ and start our graphical user interface. So this is the BlueJ program, and you can use any um, what you call this IDE for uh, in creating your own um, GUI in Java programming. But I prefer to use the BlueJ for the beginners. But again, you can use this as part of your advanced project. Now it starts. Where to go if you want to install the BlueJ? It's very simple. All you have to do is to go to your browser and then type what uh, download. Okay, you just type what download BlueJ. Okay, there you have it, and of course, uh, you have this here the BlueJ um, website, and you have to this to click right here and choose your own operating system. And we have different uh, flavors for the operating system. You have the Ubuntu, Mac OS, and Windows. Now, if you're using Windows, you have to this to click Windows, and there you have it. And then right after that, after you install the BlueJ, you locate your folder where you uh, you uh, store the BlueJ, and then you just follow the instructions. Now, if you have the BlueJ in your computer, all you have to do is to start with the BlueJ program. And then, all right, if you uh, don't have any idea how to start with your Java programming, then you can um, check my YouTube channel. So from here, we, of course, we have here, of course, the current uh, name of the class and a class that's a blueprint of a program. And in my previous tutorial, I'm using the online IDE. So this is totally different because we are here to create, you know, applications for the graphical user interface and it requires packages, um, a bit heavy packages for that. So if you want to create your project, all you have to do is to go for the project name, okay? And then you type your project right name. And at the same time, you have the folder locations or the path of your project. So the project would be, let's say we have to start with the Hello 3. I have the existing Hello 2 right there. That's my previous project. And then we have to, to choose your folder here. So I have here the default folder for your project that's Java programming. All you have to do is to click what OK. Always, always remember that if you're writing your project, start in capital letter. So that's part. This is to uh, match also your class tape. OK, now there you have it. And after that, of course, that this, this, uh, this is that we have now the two windows right here. So what's the purpose of that? We will um, start with our project right here and uh, click, of course, the new name class, the class name. And we have the selections for the class name. We have the radio box right here. So we have the interface, unit, you test, enum, record, Javax plus. Or, um, well, of course, this is part of um, amplified uh, effects for the, for, for, I think, for the GUI. But we will using the class right here. So after that, what happens? I'll just enter Hello3 here. And then there you have it. Please OK. Click OK. And then we have the Hello3 project here. I just want to erase this thing. And then we're going to use this existing class name. And, uh, well, of course, if you want to check your folder, well, uh, directory, you can see that uh, I have my folder right here in my um, in my drive. Okay, I just want to check it out, cd uh, java project. So this is the default fol uh, uh, folder for my Java program. And I have here the Hello3. Remember, this is the name of my project, and this should be akin to the class name, all right? Okay. Now... We will start, uh, we'll create our simple basic Java program. At the same time, we will morph that as a graphical user interface. How? For example, we need to create a program. We have here the following, uh, we, we have here the IDE and we have this box right here. All you have to do, if you want to start your program, you need only to click this box, double click it, and there you have it. And this is very intuitive. Why? Because in this program, uh, well, uh, it's, it is it produced already, we call this the, the template for the code. We have here the the, the, the different types of uh, versions of how to write a program. For example, you have here the Hello3. It is already here, the default class name. And uh, from here, we have already the constructor. And uh, for the constructor side, <coughs> sorry, uh, constructor side is uh, akin to the name of the class. And I have already discussed this in my Java tutorial here in my YouTube channel. At the same time, we have the methods. Now, all I have to do is to erase this thing because our purpose is to create fresh program in Java. Okay. So we'll have to put here the public static. So public means, well, of course, we are creating a program, um, creating a global program, static. This is where to run the program under the class, that's Hello3. And then we have the void. Uh, it returns nothing but null. And then we have here the public main. And the main is, is this is the method coming from from the, the class. And of course, the string, the string class and argue. Uh, args now. Args stands, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but this, this refers to the instance uh, um, array of the class. Okay, now 
we will create a simple program right here so at the same time uh, we will transfer this using of course the graphical user interface that's our main target okay for example now we create a program right here that uh, will uh, ask your name ask the user to enter the following name and age so before that we of course we need to include the name of uh, the, the, the package though, or the class name so we're going to import here the import what javlox that's ring so javlox just ring this is your uh, framework collection uh, collections of your uh, program that uh, refers to your uh, gui or what we call the G, G, uh, graphical user interface or what we, know, uh, we pronounce this as goi graphical user interface this is which in different types of uh, um, uh, graphical what you call this elements just like for example the buttons the jlist among other things so our target is to create a program here simple program that will ask the user to enter the name and the age but in simple program we only use of course the class of scanner that's how we use a scanner different types of methods for the string and for the for the numbers like for example next plot next level well you can find those things in my uh, youtube tutorial now let's proceed right here what will happen if you have uh, if we apply this jobbox at string now let's start we will declare first the variable of string name and then we have here the string age okay why is it that we have the string age right here because for one thing well i uh, will be using of course the java gui that will uh, be converted later on to a number so that's why we refer to a string now let us start here so uh well we start with the job option pane so what is that option pane this is uh well this is part of your class and the opposition paint is under the swing class and at the same time the opposition paint has a method so this method will call uh to display the name so like for example we have here show message oh no no that the correct so much the long it's equivalent to your what sop or what we call what system dot out of print line okay so the sentence for that is pretty simple we put an null right here and the same time well at the same time of course this is welcome to java programming okay if you come to java gui or go away now let us check first if this is uh, right and uh, this is a very simple program it's like we're printing simple text right here now if i compile this thing remember the name of the class is hello same thing with the name of the project and uh, we have two windows right there here please focus if i click compile here first class compile to send me to say this is running but how to run the program all you have to do is to swing your cursor right here in this, in this window and press the right button and then click this one void means ring r's click that just click this one and then of course click okay all right so we have you will come to java go this is now the output okay now let us proceed okay i will close this thing and go back right here all right now we will ask the user to enter the name how to do that so it's very simple I will type here, of course, the name, name equals to, call the class, option, pin, okay, and then let's say show, show input dialog, this is the reverse for display, input dialog, and then we say, okay, we ask them, uh, name, okay, so, after that, what will happen, so name is just a string, so we don't need anymore to cast the name and convert it to another uh, data type because we need to print the string. How about the age? For the age, well, we need to provide another variable right here. Or you can use this, uh, you can put that in the top. INT, let's say, h1. Okay, this is where we cast uh, the age to integer. How to do that? So, we will ask first, of course, the age equals to what? Now, we have here the age here. And uh, we ask here, of course, the age. That's what's the age right here. So, age, and then we have jobs, option, pain, and then show uh sorry input <laughs> the hello so we asked the user to enter the age and after that what will happen so this is the time that we cast now the age convert this to an integer how to do that so that we can print it right so h1 equals to it's very simple no? in uh, uh normal programming we use of course a scanner and call the methods for the next int but this time we're gonna call the method for the integer integer this is the class okay and then we have to call the the, the method of parse int and then convert that to h now we compile the program again and then there is no there are no error there, there is no error right here we proceed again swing your cursor to the next side and then you click this one and then you click also this one and then click ok and then we'll come to GUE, it will ask your name. For example, name is Dr. Fuentes. Dr. Arnold M. Fuentes. And then click OK. 
and then I will enter there the age. So that's it. Okay, now we need to display everything. Uh, as of now, of course, uh, we haven't displayed the output. So we will display the output right here. Display the output. Now, how to display the output? It's very simple. Go back to job option pane. Okay. And then we have your show. This is dialog. Okay. And then null. Okay. And then we put, of course, name. Null. And then we have here name. And then we put a space plus name. <coughs> Another space. And then age. Okay. Let us expand, of course, this uh, window. And then plus we put again the space here plus h okay so that is h1 we already cast that casted that to an integer okay let us compile again the program okay always remember that grammar is uh, very important right now all right so you compile this so we don't you don't have the error you go back again here in this window and then click this button click this void means ring arts and then click this okay Welcome to Goey. I will type my name, Dr. Arnold M. Fuentes. And then click OK. And then 53 years old. And then you have it. Name, Dr. Arnold Fuentes, age 53. That's it. All right.